Welcome back dear students to the physics vision classes. The given question is we need to calculate the Laplace transform of Bessel function. This J0 is Bessel function of zero order. Bessel function of zero order. We need to calculate its Laplace transform. Okay. So let's start the solution. What will we do? We'll use make use of one linear property that this Laplace transform can be written separately to each and every term to each and every term so this is Laplace of this plus 1 by 2 square 4 square Laplace of t4 and so on okay now since we know that Laplace of t raised to the power n is n factorial divided by s raised to the power n plus 1 right so we'll make use of this property this will become 1 by s minus 1 by 2 square and denominator will be numerator will be numerator will be 2 factorial which is 2 divided by numerator over now the denominator is s raised to the power 3 okay so next term will be 1 by 2 square into 4 square this will be 4 factorial divided by s raised to the power what 5 okay so this can be further written in a different form and now we'll take it 1 by this 1 by s out of the bracket this will be 1 minus 1 2 will be cancelled out with this in the denominator so that will be 1 by 2 and remaining term is 1 by s square because 1 by s is taken out plus similarly 4 factorial is written as 4 into 3 into 2 so 2 square 4 will be cancelled out with 4 rest of the terms are splitted out as 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 divided by 2 into 1 by s power 4 plus so by solving this it becomes this thing becomes a, an exponential a binomial expansion so how will we write it we will write it as on the next page let's take it on the next page 1 by s will be written in the same way into 1 minus half of 1 by s square this is basically we can see that it's what goes on the square of this goes like square of this term and rest of the thing is binomial coefficient that is minus half minus half into minus 3 by 2 divided by 2 factorial next term will be minus half minus 3 by 2 and minus 5 by 2 one negative sign will be there because there are three negatives divided by 2 okay so 2 factorial or whatever it is so that will be divided by 3 factorial next term okay by using this formula what we will get this 1 by s and 2 the whole term can be written as 1 plus 1 by s square raised to the power minus half minus half that will give you this result 1 minus n of this x then n n minus 1 by 2 factorial or you will get your answer in this way finally solving this thing a little bit further so this comes out to be 1 by 1 plus 1 by s square okay under root by taking the lcm we can write it as s divided by under root s square plus 1 that is 1 by under root of s square plus 1 is the correct answer to this question which which is uh, option d hence option d is the correct answer to this question okay so stay tuned with us and thanks for watching our video